the elderly in disaster. Good afternoon. I'm Alfred Mandel. And I'm here to talk about the elderly in disaster. This is Pensacola Beach on a July day. The winds are blowing a little bit. The surf is up. This is a yellow flag day. And people are at the beach. But what happens when this light wind turns into a storm or worse yet a hurricane? How do we prepare? Let's see what the elderly do to prepare for a storm. The following is an interview with my mother, Dorothy Mandel, a 77-year-old widow who lives alone. All right, could you tell me your name, please? My name is Dorothy Mandel. I'm 77 years old. And where do you live? I live at 407 Fairpoint Drive, Gulf Breeze, Florida. Okay. Uh, living in the Panhandle of Florida like you do, what type of disasters do you prepare for? Most, mostly hurricanes. Okay. And uh, do you have an emergency plan if a hurricane comes in the area? Yes. Yes, I do. And what is that plan? Well, <clears throat> I, got, I get my important papers, money, you close and go to a relative's house. Okay, so you do evacuate from this area? Yes, I do. Right. Do you think uh, your house here is structurally sound to withstand a hurricane? Yes, I do, possibly up to a three. No, okay. No stronger than that, though. And have you been through any hurricanes in this house? Yes, I have. What's your biggest fear about evacuating? Getting caught on the, you know, getting across the bridge, which it, it gets pretty congested. And it, it, when the wind gets a certain uh, strength, they close down the bridge. So you have to know when to evacuate. And then getting, you know, being in traffic for just miles and miles. All right. And do you have a fear? Of you know, returning to your home after a storm has passed. Well, sometimes they reroute us and we have to go around to a, through another city to come back this way. And that always takes a lot longer getting here and then, then trying to check on your home and see this, how much damage it has. Okay. All right, so during this hurricane season, if a storm comes up, I expect you're going to be evacuating? If it's stronger than a three, I will. Okay. All right. Thank you for this interview. All right. You're welcome. The elderly need to make sure they plan well far ahead to ensure that they don't have any complications during an emergency event such as a hurricane in Florida.